So I'm in the Tokamak Hall, which is where Spark is being assembled. And over the last six months, we've started to actually do that. We've installed the cryostat base, which is the main foundation of the Tokamak, and we literally build the machine on top of it. At the same time, we're also setting up the other tooling that's in anticipation of the first magnets and the vacuum vessel, which are set to arrive here shortly. And this will become the center of the activity for CFS as we put the Tokamak together. Surrounding the Tokamak Hall are other buildings that house all the different subsystems that actually operate the Tokamak. Over the last six months, in parallel to assembling it, we're starting to actually commission those subsystems. So in the utility building, where the refrigerator that keeps the magnets cold is now installed, it's starting to operate. That's all part of finishing the construction of the facility and operating every individual system individually. And over the next six months, we'll start to tie those systems together. One of the main outputs of Spark is data. In order to gather that data, we have a whole suite of what we call diagnostics. They're established state-of-the-art systems for measuring plasmas. It's that data that we use to compare against our models and make sure we understand how the plasma works. That's the, the foundation that we use to design future tokamaks like ARC. We also publish that data so everyone knows exactly what we did and can validate our science. In order to move really quickly in an industry that does not yet exist, you have to be really, really creative with the supply chain. And so we've partnered with suppliers around the world who have deep competencies in other industries and have taught them about fusion. And that's now starting to all arrive at our site. We know that we can now rely on that supply chain to go even further, to get ready for ARC. And, and that's part of this overall ecosystem building. CFS isn't just about us doing it, it's also about bringing an entire industry forward, a, a supply chain that is global, that's adapted from other industries. Six months ago, the factory was humming. It's still humming, it's getting faster and faster. And in fact, in the factory, some of the first processes are actually completing, meaning we've made all the parts we need for Spark for those stations. We still have more magnets to build, but we've now shown that we can ramp a factory up, we can run it, and we can complete an order. We've also had a lot of progress on ARC, particularly on the commercial side. We announced that 200 megawatts has been purchased by Google to power their business. That's our first Fusion customer using Fusion Power. That's a big deal. That's the largest deal in Fusion for power offtake, but it's also the, a very, very big deal for just clean energy overall. And it's not a one-off deal. We're signaling to the broader community, let's get ready to build many Fusion Power plants, not just one. But of course, it all has to start with the first one. And the first one is in Virginia with our partner Dominion, the utility. And now we've started to file permits and have community meetings around that site as we get increasingly precise about what we're gonna do there. In the next six months in Spark, we'll see the machines start to be assembled on these test stands. We'll see the magnets start to be slotted in. We'll see the vacuum vessel, two halves of it here, being populated with all the internal components. All the different subsystems of the plant working together, that's aimed towards what we call a dry dress rehearsal, where we run the plant just without the tokamak. And we simulate the tokamak with software and other tools, and that gives us the confidence that the whole system can all operate together. When we founded the company, we had a roadmap. Start with magnets, then build a factory to make more magnets for Spark build and operate Spark, go build ARC, build more ARCs. We're still on that same roadmap and it's all coming together.